What's up everybody and welcome to Web3 Club. Somebody commented that I wear red too much, so today I'm wearing green, I guess. In this video, what we'll discuss is how do we airdrop tokens to specific addresses. The tokens can be fungible or non-fungible, it doesn't matter. And I'll explain a couple of ways how to go about these things. By the end of the video, you'll understand how airdrop actually works and what are the different strategies that are available for people to execute on an airdrop. But before we get, go any further, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've also added a Discord link. I guess I've gone ahead and created a Discord channel. So not channel, actually server. So that we can have a discussion over there. You can ask questions and the broader community can help each other out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and please comment. I try to read all the comments and respond to most of them. With that said, let's get started. Now, broadly speaking, what happens in an airdrop is that you possess certain amount of tokens and then you have a bunch of addresses of people that you want to airdrop some amount of those tokens and then you generally call the transfer method on the specific token and send your token to that person now there are two ways to actually send tokens or airdrop tokens to somebody one is via smart contract and the other is without a smart contract the one without the smart contract what actually happens is you just keep calling the transfer function from your own wallet from your own address and just transfer the tokens one by one one by one uh, just using simple code instead of doing it every time via metamask what we are more interested in is the solution which involves the smart contract and which actually makes it easier for the third person or a non-tech person to basically use that tap and airdrop something now we have discussed three types of tokens uh, one is erc20 the other is erc721 which is a simple nft and erc1155 which is a multi-token nft wherein an nft can have multiple versions okay we can discuss all the three today but first what i'm going to do in today's video is work on the erc20 bit how do we airdrop erc20 tokens it's going to be very similar for 721 and 1155 all you need to do is just change the name of the function that we need to call and that's it so before you move further make sure you understand what erc20 token is if you don't know what that is i have a video somewhere uh, on my channel so make sure you go through that video first i might link it somebody somewhere some at some place make sure you go through that video first i have similar videos for uh, erc721 and 1155 as well so if you can go through them and then come back that will be much more helpful for you but if you understand what erc20 is what erc721 is erc1155 is you don't need to worry about that then you can just move forward here and if you don't know what it is but you still want to move forward that's fine as well is that you will understand better but better but anyway you might know that erc20 has a few functions that are required that it requires to have uh, those functions are total supply, balance off, transfer, transfer from, approve, allowance and then there are a few optional functions as well. How approve and transfer from really work is you as a user can approve any other address to spend your tokens. So what you do is you call the approve function with the spender and the amount of tokens that they are allowed to spend. And then once the spender gets access that you know once the spender has this allowance what they will do is they will use the transfer form function and transfer your tokens from your address to whatever address that we are trying to send them to so this is what we are going to exploit in our smart contract today all right let's go to remix so here i am on remix a regular project exists over here i'll just delete these files and i'll create a new contract so here i'm going to write pragma solidity which is less than 9 but greater than 7.7 .7. and i'll also add uh, the mit license once i'm done with that i'll just call contract bulk airdrop and just open the contract now before we move forward uh, i think just one thing that we need to do is create an interface so interface is nothing but uh, similar to class contract but it just defines the methods so that we can wrap any of the addresses in an interface and then call those methods directly on that address or smart contract i know that i want to use transfer from the name of interface will be ir uh, interface erc20 and then uh, I will have a function called transfer from and instead of just copy pasting one by one what I can do is I can open open zeppelin smart contracts github all right uh, what 
now there uh, i can go to contracts tokens erc20 ierc20 interface is already there uh, now what i need to do is just copy the transfer form function it just needs to be like this i will also need i think the balance of function and i think allowance function also i can take uh, i'm not really sure what i'm going to use but i think these three are majorly what i need now in the contract what i need to do is add a constructor first and uh, the constructor need not take anything like it's just an empty constructor uh, do i still need a constructor then i don't remember anyway uh, then i'll add a function bulk airdrop erc20 uh, the function needs to be public uh, now the first thing that we need uh, in this function will be the token address which will which will get like this uh, erc20 and this will be the token address the next two things that we need are two arrays uh, the first array will be of addresses to which we want to send the tokens and the second will be the values or the number of tokens that we need to send so the second will be address let's just call it underscore 2 and the third will be u in 256 i believe and this can be underscore value now just to be paranoid what you can do is check for each allowance and then balance off and then only transfer uh, if you don't want to be that paranoid you can just do a simple transfer but first thing that i need to require over here is that underscore two dot length should be equal to underscore value dot length and if they are not equal receivers and amounts are different length next thing that we'll do is uh, write a for loop with u int 256 uh, where i is equal to 0 i less than underscore 2 dot length i plus plus and now what we need to do is call the transfer from function and uh, once when we are calling the transfer from function we need to send the sender which is message dot sender the recipient which will be underscore to the amount which will be underscore value i now i can also do require over here so that if this gives us an error whole function sort of blows up and we don't move forward just to help with debugging and all we can also have events fired over here so that we know what all things that things were sent and what all were not sent and we can also require over here that underscore token dot allowance address of this and message dot sender should be greater than the sum of values but i mean it's a little overkill as of now all right so i'm just removing this uh, and now what we're going to do is compile it compile bulk airdrop dot sol and we've got an error which is so i forgot to add um, call data or memory whatever i'm going to use call data and now compile again and this time it worked great similarly what we can do is create interface ierc721 and we can go to open separate contracts uh, in the interface part we can copy the safe transfer from safe transfer from function uh, for the interface and we can add the approvals and all as well but uh, i mean just to make things simple uh, we are not going to use it we are going to call bulk airdrop erc721 uh, this time we'll have erc721 as the token address call data underscore 2 u in 256 Call data it's 256 underscore id and then this will be a public function as well where we require this thing it's supposed to be id and then again similar for loop this time also we require underscore token this time we'll call safe transfer from uh, and the transfer from will be message dot sender it will be an uh, two will be underscore two dot i and the token id will be underscore id i a few things that people will need to understand is that the sender the person who's trying to airdrop needs to own all these nfts and only then they'll be able to airdrop it otherwise it will not work
let's try to compile this one as well and it gives an error now the error is because the require expects a true false assertion and this is not going to return it i mean we can just ignore it for now and compile again and it worked similarly uh, for a 1155 we need to work on the safe transfer form function and we can copy it <laughs> again from the open zeppelin code now one interesting thing about erc1155 is it already includes a safe batch transfer from but what it usually means is from my address to yours i want to send 5 of token id1 6 of token id2 30 of token id5 and so on and so forth it does not mean from me to this person and this person and this person and this person so what we're going to do is use safe transfer form function and not the batch one and we need a similar function as we had for 721 but we will need 1155 in place of 721 okay nothing is different this time except that we in the safe transfer form we have from we have to we have id and another thing that we will need over here is the amounts and we'll send the amount and in the data we need not send anything we compile this and it compiles perfectly great uh, so now without deploying any other tokens or anything like that we will not be able to move forward right so before i start filming my next video i want you to come and come and come and hop into my discord uh, put your own erc20 tokens erc1155721 tokens on the ring by network deploy them and we will use a few of them to airdrop things to somebody else and also in the discord i'll ask for a certain addresses so that i can airdrop to those specific addresses and we can see in real time how it works today we are going to stop over here but I'll just explain what happened. We are basically running a for loop uh, and we are sending the tokens to the respective addresses. If you just directly go and use this smart contract, it might not work. The problem is that first you need to give approval to the deployed smart contract. So in the next video, what we're going to do is get approvals to the smart contract for different tokens that you deploy on ring by and share with me on discord and then we'll do some airdrops and stuff great thank you so much for watching the video i think this is good enough for the for a video i know i came back i think after a three week period but anyway today the crypto market has crashed so don't worry keep your head down and keep building this is web3 club don't forget to subscribe like the video comment i i make sure to read all the comments and reply to them and now I also have Discord where we can discuss and I can probably answer some questions. I'll also try to put this code on Discord somewhere so that, you know, you can just copy paste and use it by yourself. Thank you so much for watching the video. Until next time. Bye bye.